Hello and welcome to the first in situ Europe program, a web TV program focusing on European research projects in the Plateau of Saclay. Today, I propose for us to discover an extremely popular European grant scheme. This scheme funds frontier research projects, projects that expand the frontiers of our knowledge in different areas. ERC grants, European Research Council grants, provide attractive long-term funding to research projects based on a sole criterion, excellence. And it is scientific excellency that brings us here to Paris Sud University, more specifically to the IES, Institut d'Electronique Fondamentale. This is a CNRS mixed research unit with four main field research, nanomagnetism, nanoelectronics, photonics, and micro nanosystems. It is a large laboratory with around 250 staff, amongst which no less than four ERC awardees. And it is one of these awardees that I invite you to meet today. Delphine Marie Morini is a young and brilliant researcher who's just been awarded an ERC starting grant. Starting grants are awarded to young researchers with between two and seven years experience after finishing their PhD. Delphine will guide us through the process a researcher must follow to submit an ERC grant and will tell us about the impact this grant will have on our research work. Are you ready? First issue of in City Europe. Follow me. Hello, Delphine. Hello. Thank you so much for being with us. We're very happy to have you. You have just been awarded a very prestigious ERC starting grant. So the first thing I would like to do on this interview is to say congratulations. Thank you very much. In fact, uh, when did you hear about the good news and has your grant already started? I received the news in the end of November and the grant will start in the first April this year. So five, six months yes, in between. Exactly. And can you briefly describe for us your research project? Yes, of course. The, the research project, the goal is to fabricate photonic integrated circuits for the mid-infrared wavelength range. And the goal is to have uh, sensors based on absorption spectroscopy that can be very compact for application for detection of molecules. Okay, so uh, practical applications. Yes. Uh, um, how will, uh, what will be the changes from your uh, new project to the old project you're working on? For the moment, I've been working on photonic integrated circuits, but for telecommunication applications. So the wavelength range was different. It was uh, between 1.3, 1.5 micron. So we changed the wavelengths, but of course we changed the physical effects that would be used to create uh, the device and to, uh, to detect, uh, to do the sensing. So more research focused? It's not more focused, it's focused on something different. Okay. Do, do you foresee any changes uh, from what, the work you're doing now in terms of your day-to-day -day life uh, as a researcher in your lab uh, with the new, the new grant that you've just been awarded? Yeah, the, the main advantage for me is that I, will, uh, I have a funding for five years, so I will not have to apply for, for funding for a PhD, for, to buy the equipment and so on. So I, I, will have a, I will be free to develop my research, which is very good. And so how, what was the budget of your project? It's 1.5 million euro. So 1.5 million euro for five years, long-term yes. funding with a very generous grant. Yes. So lots of changes. You'll have more freedom to choose your yes, team. Yes, exactly, which, which, is, which is a dream for a researcher to, to, be, uh, to, to be able to, to buy what we need and to, to employ the people that we need so to develop the research. It's very good. Was this the main reason why you applied to this grant and not to any other grant? Uh, the main reason, it was, uh, it was to be able to develop my own research. So I can, uh, with an ERC, you are able to define your project for five years and to do what you want, to, to, to develop something very new. You don't have to, to, to respond to, uh, to, to something specific to, to, be, to obtain a grant. It's what you define, uh, that uh, you define your own project. So freedom to work 
only on your research. So exactly. A, a, a dream grant for exactly. any researcher. Yes. Um, what are the steps involved in, in a, an ERC submission? Um, basically, there is two steps. The first one is to write the project proposal. And the second one is to, to uh, there is an interview in Brussels where you have to defend your project and to convince people that it's very new and that is a very high risk, high gain project. So you have to prepare both at the same time? Uh, no, not really. It's, um, there is six months in, be in between. And uh, the first thing is to, to by, uh, with the project proposal, to, to convince people that it's, it's interesting. Okay, so there is a pre-selection first? Yes, exactly. And then, uh, how, what's the percentage of people, of the research? I there? think, uh, let's say, 20%. So, in, very competitive. Yes. Very competitive. So, did you apply on your own for this, uh, for this scheme, or were you supported along the way in any of the steps? Um, in fact, uh, we have a lot of support for applying for this uh, ERC grant. So, for an ERC, you have to be the PI, but uh, it does not mean that you do everything alone. It, you have a lot of support from the institutions and also from the colleagues in the lab, and, uh, which is very important also. Okay. So, for, for example, for the institutions, I had lots of help from Université Paris-Sud, who helped me in the administrative uh, task, and also for the budget definitions and... Uh, Guidelines. Exactly. Um, for CNRS, they helped me for the second step, for preparing the interview. And from Paris Saclay, uh, the help is uh, by uh, the, it, it's a way to 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 talk and to interact with other ERC uh, laureate and and candidate. So it can be very helpful also. So a, a real teamwork there. You were never alone during any of the steps. You had help from uh, your institution, CNRS, yes. uh, and uh, Paris Saclay and uh, probably your team and your yes, own group? Yes, it's a second part. Uh, we also have a lot of help from the colleagues in the lab. So for the colleagues which are from, from the same team, so who know exactly uh, what I've done and what I will do and so on. But also for the other colleagues in the lab that are not so specialists from the topic, but who can help to have a general view of the project. Yeah, an outside view. Exactly. Yeah. So... Um, did, uh, did you work full time during all this time on uh, any of the steps? No, no. Um, in fact, before the, the before the real first step, which is writing the proposal, there is a uh, let's say three four months where you have to define the project, and these project definitions you, you do not. It's not a full time work, but you have to think about it, and it, it is when it is very important to interact with colleagues to to propose something new and to interact with them to see what they think about it. And, uh, so brainstorming exactly. with yourself and with your... Uh, yeah, yeah. So this brainstorming is very important and it, yeah, it has to be with people because alone you cannot define so entirely the project. I so think. you have a clear idea of what you're going exactly. to submit, which is important. Yes. Do you think there are enough researchers uh, submitting to ERC grants? Um, I think it's always difficult alone to, to, to say, okay, I will apply for this ERC grant because it seems to be so difficult to have it. So there is lots of people that think they cannot and they, it will be too difficult. But finally, it's not because we are not, we are not alone. So you're not alone. You always have the support along yes, the way. Yes, exactly. So, you know, as a, a, an ERC awardee that got a starting grant on her first attempt, which is yeah. a great fit by itself, uh, what did you say to other researchers who think about applying but never did because they? Oh, they I, do I say to all the people that are, all the researchers I know and are interested but they don't really know if they have to apply or not, I say you have to apply because even in the project definition, it's very good to take the time to, to think about what you would like to do. So I really encourage every, everybody to, to do this work, which, which is interesting. Delphine, thank you so very much. Thank On this you. encouraging note, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Thank you, thank very, you much. For, very much for coming. I say my goodbyes to you as well. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you are a researcher, we hope you felt inspired by Delphine's uh, example to submit your own ERC project to this European scheme. Do not hesitate to look for help within your own institution. They are there to give information and to support you along the way. Goodbye. I'll see you soon in the next Institute Europe program.